guys it's 78 degrees let's go catch a fish Hey, what's going on guys? If you're new to my channel, welcome to Set the Hook. I'm TL Broyles, and if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me guys. Remember to smash that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. And if you do decide to subscribe, leave me a comment and I will respond to let you know I do appreciate you 100. All right guys, we've got something new to throw today. Yes, we've got this. This is that JSR5 Shad Wrap Jointed Silver Shad Lure. Deep diving crankbait. It's got that big lip. It, 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 it is designed to catch the fishermen because some lures are designed to catch the fishermen, but it is designed to catch fish, and this lure works. Um, I've thrown it before, and I've seen some, some awesome reaction. I got some nice catches going on out there off of this lure. It's got that bl black back, guys. It really looks like a shad. It's got that black uh, thread fin shad spot on it. It's got the really detailed lines with the really uh, detailed eyes for the fish to target on right there. I mean, it's just an awesome lure. It's an awesome, awesome lure. It's got some big treble hooks. That's something I really like. Oh yeah, <laughs> big treble hooks are easier to catch the fish with. Now, the Rapala lures, you know, they, they're kind of pricey, but their finishes are awesome. And like I said, guys, they really do work good. Now, at certain times of year, I've thrown certain Rapala lures and certain uh, Cotton Cordell lures, and they don't do anything, nothing. But you can throw them in another time of year and they'll do something. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this new lure that we got at Walmart and see what we can come up with. So let's just quit talking about it, guys, and get out there to that water. All right, guys, this is that JSR. Shad wrap, silver shad. Let's see what happens. The water level has really dropped. I am so happy, you just don't know. <laughs> I can keep on getting hung. I may land something nice. Let's check the drag. Let's see, check the drag real quick, guys. Okay. So if there's a walleye in there, it's probably gonna be nice. I hope it is. Lots of times the walleye get these crankbaits out here. And if you're not new to my channel, you've seen me catch walleye. Try not to get hung, guys. This is a deep diver. Get those roots. Great swimming action. I want to come across that log right there if you guys can see it because it'll get hung probably. I'm not trying to do that if I can help it. Rapalas, Rapalas cost a lot. <laughs> no joke. Bring the funk back. See, we're hitting the bottom already. Diving deep yet. Honestly, here it is. I want to hit the eddy water over there. Honestly, I would love to stand on that other bank right there in the middle and try to catch something, guys.
I really feel the vibration on that lure. Now, this river does not hold shad. But they, they have hit uh, other lures. Look like shad in here. I don't know what the fish wants to bite that day that they want to eat. Guys, got him, guys. Oh, he's nice. Oh, it came off. Crap. That was a large mouth. A large mouth had hit it. He hit that shad wrap. He sure did. That, he hit it. He got off. Crap. Drag is right. He just wasn't hooked good. He sure hit that shad rep. Crap. Got him. Oh, it's a bigger one. Not bigger one, guys. Oh, got him. Large mouth. Man, that's a big large mouth. Look at that, guys. That's on that shad rep, the Rapala shad rep. <sighs> Man, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Now, that's not the same one. That's a different one. They must be schooling. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, here he is. And that shit rep. There he is, got it in his mouth. Nice, large mouth. That first one got off. Nice large mouth on that jointed share rep. Bar Apollo, look at that guy. That's what I'm talking about. He nailed it. This isn't the same one that I had the first time. The first one was smaller. He got off. But this one must have been with him. Yes, Lord, let's get this champion back in the world. Right. This is a nice large mouth, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, nice large mouth. Thanks, man. Go back and get 10 pounds. Safe and sound. Woo. All right, guys, that was an awesome catch. All right, guys, thanks for going fishing with me. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me, guys. Remember to smash the notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. And if you do decide to subscribe, leave me a comment and I will respond. I'll let you know that I do appreciate you 100. All right, guys, we had an all right day. We hooked two fish. We caught one. Now that first large mouth that hit that Rapala, right here, it wasn't as big as the one that I caught, but he nailed it. He sure did. He nailed it, and it just didn't get hooked good, and it got off. So, you know, and that lets you know, guys, no matter how good the hooks are, that it's going to be the angle that the fish hits the lure, and how hard it hit the lure and whether you can get a good hook set when you set the hook on it you know but it, hey that was just part of it it was still was fun now that first large mouth was not as big as the one that i caught the second large mouth was was bigger i uh, imagine it was schooling and you know that's just how it is you're gonna catch some of them you're gonna lose some of them you're gonna you're gonna miss some of them that's just part of it 
and honestly I was really afraid that I wasn't gonna catch anything because it's been a really cold uh, today has been the warmest day we've had in a long time and I have not been catching any fish it's been raining a lot and the, the rivers have been really flooded and unless you're catfishing and you're willing to sit out there in the cold and flooded water that's really hot it's running fast in a small river yeah you're not going to be out there trying to you know you're not going to be able to do anything and and the reality of it is i've been around the small rivers uh this month around home and you really can't catch anything out of those rivers when they're flooded that's just the truth about it the fish there there are some big ones in there really really big ones some 20 pounds and 20 pound plus fish which they don't bite all the time now those fish can swim in that water but those smaller five and six seven pound eight pound fish that you normally will catch they can't swim in that water and you're not gonna catch them so it's really a waste of time in the cold so no i didn't go but we did good now this lure is really good it worked i suggest you you check it out give it a try i really enjoyed using it guys and i didn't get hung <laughs> yes lord all right guys watch this video all the way to the end until you get to my end screen until my next video comes up for more fishing fun and tips until then keep on going fishing have fun be safe peace out thanks for watching